Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be. The world awaits to receive you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know I was going to pop on the screen with that face. Welcome, welcome, Uncensored and Enlightenment Talk family. And you're here with your host, Grace Levi. And yes, 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 you're here with Miss Sassy, Graceful, Beautiful, and Spicy. And we're going to have a great night This tonight. madness. All right, so let's get into... Uh, one more topic before we get into, oh, damn, we got two more topics. We're going to get into another topic that has to do with our celebrities. This topic is something that we've been following on hood, hood, uh, politics, which is the YSL case. And the reason why we're following it, one, is because of the way that they're applying the laws is totally crazy. And the way that the damn judge is acting is even more crazy. So we got an update about the YSL judge and his damn behavior because he ain't acting like a regular judge. And even more from workers even said it like the way he behaved is not typical. But as I told him or as I said, judges in Georgia doesn't act typical. This is a do as you want to state. They apply what they want to. Literally, my beautiful, nice self, and I was literally a nurse, and I'm still a nurse. At that time, I was literally like really in it to win it. They helped me in contempt. I'm about to lock my ass up because I wouldn't plead guilty or not guilty for a ticket. Literally. I told them I didn't understand. I said, how the hell you got me in a criminal court for a traffic ticket? This is not, I'm not supposed to be facing criminal charges for a traffic ticket. Ma'am, do you understand? Do you want to plead guilty or not guilty? Excuse me. No, I don't want to do anything because I don't understand why the fuck I'm here. Why am I here? This is a criminal court. But y'all don't understand what I'm saying. But we'll move forward. Now, judges scold potential juror in Young Thug Rico trial. Threatening to send him to jail for calling reporter covering trial. Why the hell would he do that? Why would the person call? How the hell? The judge say people be snitching. He said it at the beginning. People be snitching. A potential potential juror is high profile racketeering, high profile racketeering Rico trial of hip hop recording artist Jeffrey Williams, better known as his stage name Young Thug, has was held in contempt by the court and given a lengthy scolding by the judge overseeing the case early Monday morning. Why shouldn't I hold you in contempt, sir? Judge Jarrell Grainville asks. Contempt is punishment by fine of $1,000 or 20 days and 20 days in jail. So why? Why shouldn't I do that? The juror uh, was voiced, was audible during the contempt hearing, saying they were just inquiring about the speed of the hardship inquired about the speed of the hardship get Grainville started to ask if the question went against something but he quickly cut off the juror who agreed that it does i take full responsibility the male juror said what the fuck did he add just inquired about the speed of the hardship what is that Let, let's listen what the hell is the speed of the hardship the reason that I go through all of this, okay, listen to this, go ahead. Um, Why shouldn't I hold you in contempt, mm -hmm. sir? Contempt is punishable by a fine of a thousand days in jail. Mm -hmm. So why, why shouldn't I do that? Well, your honor, I was just inquiring about the speed of the, or the, the speed of the, uh, the hardships. What but doesn't it that? go against? It does, and I, I take full responsibility. 
He why he gonna let him go? I, I mean, the reason that I go through all these admonitions is I told you that we have actually had people do those in other trials, and that affects the fairness, the lawfulness, and the uh, of the trial as to both sides. I mean, that admonition I went through with you all was probably about 50, was about ten minutes at least. Yes. Yes. So why did you think? Why would you think this would this would this would be okay for you to inquire about this? It was a dumb mistake on my part. I mean, because that tells me you were listening on the media, or as which is what I told you not to do as well. Remember? Yes, Your Honor. It, I mean, this is this is how this is how we have hiccups in trials, and we have to sometimes start over because people people don't do what they're supposed to do. So. I'm going to find you in willful contempt of my order. Um, I'm going to sentence you to 20 days, but I'm going to suspend those 20 days on two on the condition of two things. One, you're going to do 10 hours of community service at a school, a synagogue, a church, telling them this is your subject title, behavior, choices, consequences. Okay. All right. I good child. When we pick a jury in this case, you're going to come for the first five days of trial. Okay. That will satisfy your contempt. If you don't do the 10 hours and provide me proof, you need to do that within the next 30 days. Probably that. Fair enough? That's very fair. They always put somebody on the damn books around this. Month. I told you, come to Georgia, oh. you're going to be on the damn books. They're going to find a way to give you probation. We're going to go do some community service, go on a chain gang for 10 hours. And you got to pay to do community service. You got to pay. Oh, you thought that you just signed up and it's free. No, you got to pay. Then you pay a little stupid fine. Georgia is like a triple jeopardy state. Okay. Fuck. Excuse my language. The re... Uh, I mean, I'm not reading that again, but um, I understand the the guy shouldn't have called. I don't, I don't even understand. Let me figure out what the hell is a hardship. Inquire about hardship, speed, the speed of a hardship. I'm gonna because y'all know I study law, and I love to figure stuff out. I don't know what that means. The hardship, the um, hardship and jury. Okay, and juries. You know, I like. And jury duty. Okay, let's see, because I don't know what the hell that be. Second thought about hardship excuse. The judge must consider the burden of the jury. Oh, so why would he call the news for that? Oh, hardship. Basically, he don't want to be a juror. It says second thoughts about hardship excuse. Civil justice required juries who are willing to be able to render a fair verdict. Jurors must be able to sit for extended period the, uh, to comprehend the evidence presented as, as the parties and follow the law per the judge's instruction in Verdere. Lawyers see impartial jurors who are able to serve in a critical function. As judges, we often face citizens who are involuntarily responsible responds to summons to appear and who are unable to serve and not participate or, or not particularly interested in serving. The unwilling of uh, potential jurors to serve may be particularly acute in a long civil trial involving volumism of documents and videos and audio. The challenge is to select a jury who will find the trial and interesting and review the experience and, re and review and make it a rewarding experience. So this is a ju uh, civil jury uh, project. I'm just going to show y'all what I'm reading. Y'all already know. I'm going to go look that shit up real quick. Like, what? What that mean? What that mean? I'm not going to just read something. Don't know what the hell that mean. I, what that, what does that mean? So this is what I was reading. I'm going to share the link with you guys because y'all guys need to understand a little bit of law. So basically, this is when the jury has second thoughts about, uh, well, when the jury, the juror that is selected wants to file for a hardship. Like, I can't do this. Especially in terms of this case. We know the case is going to be longer than what people really expect it to be. So, well, hmm. And according to lawyers for workers, he like this could take years. Who got years and how much money they paying? Cause you know it's inflation. People got mortgages, got stuff. You think you're gonna be on jury duty? Shh, baby, see that's that's what make it hard. 
because black people, we don't be rich enough to do all of this stuff. Answer, because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be you. The world awaits to receive you.